Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Psalm 118, 8 and following. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. As followers of Jesus Christ, we have to constantly be reminded that our profession and our performance must be congruent. The psalmist made several bold proclamations earlier on and it would be good for us to revisit them. He says that we should give thanks to the Lord in the verse 1 for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say his love endures forever. Those are statements that the psalmist made earlier on and powerful statements that we want to pay some attention to uh, today. We want to look back at these statements because they, they form the basis of what we need to discuss today. He says, In my anguish I cried to the Lord and he answered by setting me free. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I will look in triumph on mine enemies. Now, his caution here in these two parallel lines do not settle for cheap alternatives he enumerates two substitutes we may be tempted to to seek for security in human beings he says and princes the human and privileged persons or political figures whatever they may be or whoever they may be he says in the verse 8 it is better to take refuge in the lord the hebrew word he uses here to take refuge is to flee for protection and figuratively it means to confide in to flee for protection to resort to for protection it is better to take refuge in the lord he says than to trust in man and better to take refuge in the lord than trust in princes he speaks about trust to hide for refuge says one writer to go quickly after for refuge for protection and for support but why is it that the psalmist says it is better to take refuge in the Lord than than in others? Why why does he say that? You see, the 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 security of others is is inferior. Yeah, it is. The sincerity of others, their strength, their scope of authority, his sovereignty. There's just, there are just so many reasons why other sources are inferior. So the question is, who or what is your source of security and protection today? Remember that all other ground is sinking sand, says the great hymn of the church, and Christ is the only solid rock on which we stand. So I encourage you today, do not settle for cheap alternatives, lookalikes and knockoffs and replicas, because they are all inferior. Let's get the real deal today, because nothing else will do. Nothing else will help. Let us be thankful today for our God who is the ultimate source of protection and security. Let us not settle for knockoffs and 
cheap replicas and substitutes alternatives. But let's remember that it is in his arms that we are safe and secure. It is in his hands that we are sheltered and protected. This hymn of the Christian church says, Sheltered, protected, no evil can harm me. Christ has redeemed me and I am his child. The hymn is Under His Wings. You may want to look up that hymn today. Under His Wings, I'm safely abiding. Look that hymn up and may it be of blessing to you. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. Should you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word SALVATION to this number as well. Please remember to get your copy of my book, Six Practices of Effective Leadership, today. You can pick up your copy on Amazon. Whether you want the hard copy or the Kindle version, feel free to do so. The link is provided for you in the description below. If you're in Jamaica, you can get your copy at the Sterling Castle New Testament Church of God, the Waltham Park New Testament Church of God, or the uh, head office of the New Testament Church of God in Jamaica at Rodenspen. The bookshop there carries this title. You could call any of these places and make arrangement to get your copy. Please remember to indicate to us if you desire to have us support you in your local churches and in your organizations with leadership training. We would be happy to do so. We look forward to hearing from you. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.